I hope there's, um, Deku. 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 Oh, I don't want a heart. <laughs> yes! Deku seeds. Why did I shoot all mine in that bonus part? I had, like, 50. And now I only have 5? What kind of shenanigans is this? I don't know. Alright, anyways. With these eyes, you just have to shoot it. Do whatever you can to hurt it. And then just keep going. I don't know if that's one of the temporary ones. Oh no, the dingoes! The dingoes! Mini the dingoes! They blow up. Why do they blow up? And you thought we saw the last of the last little foes, little foes before? Yeah, you might lie. You never said you did. Um, where's the other one? Come on, fight me like a man or a lizard man, lizard thing. By the way, if you didn't notice that these, this area down here is actually where you fall from the first time. You don't think those ones are dead, but these were new ones. So if you fall down, you have to like redo the whole dungeon because you know, they're jerks like that. Ah, uh, this is the one right when you go through right, left. No, this is right. All right. Uh, all right. I totally missed that, but who cares? And I believe these ones become undone, so you have to move at least somewhat fast. Not too hard though. Still get through easy. Easy enough. And in this room. Wow, you get them this early? <laughs> or maybe this dungeon just isn't as long as I remember it. Because last time I played that score took me like 30 minutes, but it's only been like 14 ish right now. Almost 14 on the dot. And you get a bomb bag. It's made from a dingo stomach. Then you get 20 bombs, unlike Skyward Sword, where you get like 10 in your first bomb bag, and then you have to get other random crap. And I'm gonna replace Deku Nuts with that, because uh, I don't find a need for Deku Nuts. Going through here now. Uh. Hit that switch. Yay! Shortcut so we don't have to worry about anything ever again. Ah, uh, yeah, I. No! I don't wanna listen. It goes higher. Now I can quickly reach the second floor. That's what Navi has to tell you. So, there was a statue that's back there that said, make the big beast eyes turn red or whatever, and then, uh... Ah! <laughs> so close to death. And then, um, yeah. His mouth will open. Like so. There you go. That's how you solve that puzzle. Just gotta go back through here, and we are about... I think we're a little bit more than halfway right now. There's just a couple minutes left. Oh boy, I remember this. This was not fun. No! Bad on fire! Made me on fire. Not fun. Not fun. Not fun. I'm saying not fun a lot. Oh, great, I remember this place. Uh, I just remember this being the room that I hated the most, for no apparent reason, but I still hate it. Frick you. Bad. Um. There we go. Got it, got a nu nu nuzzle the edge, or whatever. Is there a reason for going back here? Um. Hello? Ah! Die! <laughs> oh, look, bombs. Got the golden sculpture Scully. That's what it looks like. Scully. 
No, there's no A there. What was I talking about? It's just a sculptula. 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 Alright. Now, just to get back up here. Oh my gosh, bats. Hate you all. I think I came in here with uh, an extra heart. I mean, it's not like I really am gonna need it. But it's still nice to have. Ah, uh, and here. Fairy, come to me. I need your hearts. Damn you. Oh, yay! He's so nice. I think there's bats or the dingoes here or something. I'm back full on rupees, so I guess it doesn't matter that I bought that Deku stick. But what you need to do is push this block. Push it real good. Dude, 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 dude. And then... No, not get back on top of it. Wait for the keys to go by. The bats. No! 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 I don't know how I didn't get hit there. Oh, where are you? Where is you? Oh my gosh. There we go. I'm so good at this game, guys. Don't you agree? The game agrees. It gave me one rupee. Just want to pull that back one. No. 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 No! <laughs> no! <laughs> I didn't want to do any of that. <laughs> I just wanted to move this block slightly forward. By slightly, I mean all the way forward. You know, physics don't even technically let this be possible. Because only at this point right here, the block would be like falling in. Eh, maybe. But more than likely be like tipped over. And you can't even really grab that all that well, so how would you go back? And yes, if that, if that scene did not make it completely obvious, this is the boss room. And you get bombs. I wonder what you're gonna do for the boss fight. <laughs> you're on a ball! This guy is fat with a capital PH. Fat. It's King the Dingo, the infernal dinosaur. These things scare me. Um, um, see what you want to do is throw a bomb in his mouth! Damn it! Yeah, that wasn't fun. Guess just do that. Then I like to run after him. Because he likes to throw a bomb. Oh my gosh, if I mess this up. Okay. He took his, med he took his, his, his medicine. Yeah, he's he's not that hard of a boss. You just have to make sure you uh, don't suck like me. He's actually really easy. All he does is eat your bombs, blow up, does damage to himself, and then you do damage to him too. Unlike Goma, you actually have to hit him three times. Goma, you can only hurt her if you hit her him enough. I always feel like Goma was a girl, but that's probably because it says my like, queen in the thing. Anyways, for this guy, you actually have to hit him. Three times, I believe. Like so. Yep. So it is with most Zelda bosses. Three times, and you're done. Except for in Skyward Sword, but they actually decide to go for like different different amounts. I applaud them for that. He goes into lava, burning, burning death. That, that's not fun. But because of the, the dingo powers inside of him, he neutralizes the lava and lets it so we're able to stand on it some odd reason. I don't know how. But he also drops another heart container. We are just racking up the hearts. And it is totally filled. Teleport to the outside world. That wasn't that didn't take too long. Twenty minutes isn't that bad. Could probably have done it faster, but I suck at this game. Look at that smile. It's me, Darunia. Well done. Thanks to you, we can once again eat delicious rocks from the Dongo's cavern until our stomachs burst. Rocks aren't delicious, bro. 
what a wild adventure. It will make an incredible story called The Legend of Darunia. I can't believe that the Dodonga certainly appeared in such great numbers. And that big rock blocking the cave. All this trouble must have been caused by that Gerudo thief, Ganondorf. He said, give me the spiritual stone, only then will I open the cave for you. You, on the other hand, risked your life for us. I like you. How has you and I become sworn brothers? No, there's no big ceremony involved. Just take this as a token of our friendship. Cool, I get to be brothers with a rock guy. With muscles the size of polygons. Or muscles in the form of polygons. There we go. That makes a little bit more sense. He still scares me. And we get to go around Rupee, even though they haven't said that yet, but still I'm gonna say it because I know what I'm talking about more than this game, even though it's a cutscene, so I can't really say anything at this exact moment, but I don't even know what I'm saying anymore, so let's, um... Uh... I couldn't like that last a little bit longer. You obtained the Goron's Rupee. This is the spiritual stone of fire passed down by the Gorons. You don't know what he means by sworn brothers, but you collected two spiritual stones. You have one more to find. And then we will have beaten the game. We are over halfway done, guys. It's a short game, I know, but whatever. Uh, next time on Let's Play Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time, we will go on the top of Death Mountain and see the Great Fairy. Because she will pop. That is power us up. Hey everybody, let's see off our brother. Haha. <laughs> uh oh. Oh, rock people. Rock people. How about a big Goron hug, brother? No. Ah. They're so scary. So, they incline you to go up here, but normally I just jump off the edge, but I'm not going to do that this time, because next time on Let's Play Ocarina of Time, we will go to the Great Fairy and see what else we have to do. Probably not go to the main story, do one other thing that's not totally required. But, uh, yeah, see you guys next time.